Welcome back to Boss Guys Reviews. In this review, we'll be taking a look at Joel Toy Fishy License Warhammer 40k Heroes of the Chapter 118 scale action figure. These are recommended for adult collectors at least 15 years and older. Very cool. That's the front of the box. There's the top of the box. And here's the bottom of the box. There's the side of the box. Other side of the box. And here we have the back of the box, very large product images with a uh, content statement. The figures that figure and obvious accessories out in front of him. And then we have the smaller ones with the front, the back, and the close up of that helmet and chest area. All right, there he is inside the clamshell, looking pretty cool. Um, they don't tell you on the marketing packaging or product images, but this is Primaris Lieutenant. Erat Eratus. Here is his trading card with his name on it. Uh, very thinner card stock, but you should, I mean, I don't really care about the cards too much, but at least it gives us his uh, identity. Alright, here he is, the hero of the chapter. Looking pretty cool. I like the little uh, attention to details on this uh, figure. Let's take a look at his helmet. And great, got the red eyes. We have the white and red stripe across the top of his helmet from just above his eyes to the pretty much to the back of the skull. There, it's pretty good. We have the two little cylinders, like a gunmetal color. Um, has iron skull right there on his forehead. Fantastic gunmetal cylinder tubing, pretty cool. This head does rotate 360. This side, this side, back and forth, kind of in between all the way around if you want it, it's there. Very nice. This is the V1 body, so that's great. So for this pauldron, he has the skull, the halo there part, gold trim. Um, these are on the ball peg, so they kind of move a lot more than the V2 body. I don't know why it's getting bright on me like that. But here we go, the same thing over here. We just have the Ultramarines logo, gold trim. We have the skull and wings on his chest done in gold. Very nice. The arms do rotate 360. You can raise up. Um, is there butterfly joints on these? Uh, no. No butterfly joints on this guy. And um, so, but you can at least get them up somewhat. Uh, 360 bicep, double jointed elbow. Should I spin there? Um, 360 on the hand, up, down, in and out, and all between. And I kind of nice and tolerance that is for holding weapons. So that's good. So for the chest, back and forth, side to side, all the way around. I already knocked one piece off. I'm not getting more. It's there, but it's got a lot going on on his belt. This is, just know that it's there for you. Um, if you want to. On the gauntlets, we have little golden skulls. Black eyes. There are both of them. Very cool. On the hip pieces, we have this design. Nothing here. This is where the gun case went. Right there, you can see that's removable. Uh, this is removable also. I just saw a casket with two skulls and spikes on the side. Gold chain. Purity seal here. Kind of in the way, in my opinion. Um, this piece is also removable. Two large pouches and a cylinder there on a the back plate. This silver there. Silver here on the back. There's a whole sort of power pack. Uh, here on this knee, not too much. You have this round piece here. Um, her, uh, 360 uh, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, very cool. If you do pivot down up, side to side, to articulation up. On this uh, shin guard slash kneecap, do you have the Ultra logo in white, and then we have this amazing design here with the wings and skull, and now it's all 3D sculpted. Pretty nice. I like the figure. I think it looks fantastic. This little differences in these Marines gives us a nice uh, 
different aesthetic when you have them all in one um, place, especially on your shelf. Looks very cool. So here's the front of him, side, the back, other side, top of him, and the bottom. There's that sculpted piece there, the chest, that piece, that helmet, that's great. Yep. All right, so let's check out what kind of weapons Joy Toy decided to pack with him. All right, guns with a sword. Gold here, red handle, red ruby or something there. Gold piece here, power nodes, diamond metallic blue. Gunmetal slash silver blade. Two power nerds on that side. It's going to be a very powerful sword. And since that we have the V1 uh -oh, body, we can go ahead and pop that in his hand. Look how easy that is. Why did they ever want to change that? I have no idea. But you see how well he holds it. Even with his trigger finger hand. So bring it out. You can put it across this like that if you wanted to do that. This piece we'll get to in a second. Looks very cool. Okay, so <laughs> here's our gun that this represents that's drawn. So you can put this in his hand. Uh, Gunmetal body. We do have the five black removable clip. Cold shells. Drill through the side. Drill through the front. Pretty nice. Um, so yeah, that would go on that plate. This is a verse I've ever seen this, but it give you me an entire. This is a entire another plate. So if you don't want to have the gun in his hand, you can get rid of the gun, and you could pop on you know, this piece versus having it, you know, like this. Or you can put the gun in his hand. And then take this off. I've never seen him give us a whole nother plate. It kind of really is unnecessary, but okay. And then we have the gun, this pistol. See how easy that is. I thought V1 body. Very cool. Hmm. Very nice. It does come with uh, two other hands. You can see how nice they are. Very cool. Very flexible. Power pack. Basic power pack. Ultra Maze logo on the back in white. Gunmetal vents. Silver bolts. Silver here on the side. On that side. And on the back you have several wires and a couple cylinders there. And then basically this just gets pushed on. And like I said, the V1 bodies are just, you know, they're king, in my opinion, versus what we're getting today. <laughs> it does not like this piece. I think there's no nubby on this. I think it's just like a pig. So it's not really, like, pushed in and has, like, a little piece of hole. It's just sitting in there. So even with the two pieces, you might be able to consider, if you're interested, I'm not probably going to do that. So this is like a ball pig. That one is just a uh, flat piece and it sits inside there. And that's why that doesn't, this pops off. See a difference. It doesn't really protrude through there except for like that will sit in there. So it's actually not too bad. I mean, it stays on. It's just if you bump it, this is a little too hard. It wants to come off. So he has a decent amount of accessories for him. Uh, it's pretty cool that we have, I like the um, Archer Marines that have the names because it gives them identity. Um, pretty cool for storylines and for um, pretty for your shelf and uh, individuality, I guess. Alright, for a comparison, for fun, we have the uh, Havigs Marine. That's how, that's, that's how they scale together. You can see the pure size difference in them i mean he's, he actually is a little taller than uh our marine here but <laughs> so 
if you're having a gunfight, do you want to come to the gunfight with that gun? Or do you want to come with that gun? <laughs> My think is a little bit out power powered. Uh, but here's a side of them. And then the back. You see how much larger the Havoc is for his space power pack backpack versus the uh, ultramarine one. It's pretty cool. Gives you an idea what the Marines are up against when you have to go up against the Traitor Legions. So, yeah. Hope you guys like this review. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, comment down below any questions, comments. I like to hear you guys' thoughts. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next review.